Mary and Jesus shared a special bond. Mother Mary, it's clear she was the one most responsible for Jesus' edgy, iconoclastic streak. Mary was Jesus' guru, if you will, his rabbi. Read her prayer in Luke 1, and this is obvious. She said, God has scattered the proud and the thoughts of their hearts. God has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. God has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. God has helped servant Israel in remembrance of God's mercy. The world rewards the strong man, the one with simple answers, obvious power, and ready armies, the one worshiping strength, their own strength, and using and abusing it to weaken and to keep weak, the one who ruthlessly takes hold of thrones and squashes any questioning of authority or threats to power. In this paradigm of the powerful, only the strong deserve to survive. The less strong lose and deserve to. The weak, weakness, in the paradigm of the powerful, it's best to ignore these things. If ignoring them is not possible, control and condemn them, these things. Jesus, our Lord, he brought a new paradigm, the paradigm of love. It is the paradigm his mother taught him. He embodied that new paradigm all the way to a Roman cross whose violence would not win. This new paradigm embodied in Jesus would rise victorious and change the world. It is grief and sorrow that heals us. It is the soul of love that willed the universe into being. It is vulnerability and selflessness that saves that universe. To those who worship power and worship what or who is strong, Jesus preached the good news, the gospel story of freedom and liberation for the vulnerable ones. It is in weakness that we are strong. It is in grief that we are most human and humane. It is in losing our pride and privilege that we win our souls. It is in meeting people where they are that changes hearts and in turn the world. It is in a love that fully sacrifices self to protect and heal where we find the greatest strength. This paradigm of love, let us find it again and let it recreate the universe.